International Women's Day is upon us once more, and there's one thing that I could say for sure, is that we've come such a long way from where we were before, and that we must be celebrated. The women who bore us have carved out a path for us, and because of them I could say for sure, I am woman, I am mother, I am sister, I am daughter, I am freedom, and I am speech. I am women, and I am proud, but I'm also so much more. I am proud to be a woman, to speak the truth of what I carry, the struggles, the smile, the hurt, the happiness, the pain, the perfection. But it also carries the history of all the women who have been raised from his story and those who have forced their way through the narrow cracks in the door. We can vote. We have rights. We can protest. We have a voice. We have come so far in just a hundred years, and because of this I fear, the carelessness may creep in, and some think the end is near. But the battle rages on while equality remains a strong part of the life we lead today. Let's start with the implication that menstruation is wrong, a belief that still remains strong in 2021, who taught some men to believe that a girl bleeding is unclean, to all the men who call periods gross. Is it gross that you came out screaming, covered in your mother's blood, nourished by her blood? Is it gross that one day your daughter will bleed? Is it gross that your bride bleeds? Is it gross that your mother once bled before you? No. What is gross is your attitude will make your daughter wish she was born a boy. We need to teach her to embrace every part of her womanhood, to see she is a woman, but see she is more. Brave young girl, a warrior in the making, a warrior who does not see the pain, but the beauty in her blood. The ugly truth is that we are living on a beautiful earth designed to suit the male demand. The phone you hold, for men. The military uniform you wear, for men. The medical dummies provided, for men. We are fighting these injustices together, as women, in daily life. The damage isn't deliberate. The priority of women's care has simply been discarded, disregarded, shoved down the list of targets by the predominantly male leaders who act out of convenience but are not common sense. You don't mean to exclude us, but without our intelligence, we will continue to exist in a world that doesn't suit us. We want understanding leaders to represent us all and show the world the real potential of women. We want them to remember we are women, but we are more. We are more than a face, body shape or size. We are more than a mother or significant other. We are more than periods and we certainly aren't inferior. Our natural patterns and cycles cannot be prevented, but our troubles, our wavy lines, can be straightened if we are supported. So we must aim high and forget about what should be and be accepted for it, or we shall continue to be seen and not heard. But how do you police a system designed to keep us contained? That's easy. Plant the seed of hate in our brains, then sit back and watch as the roots take hold, and we start to believe there is enough space for us all to grow. See, we've been raised to oppose each other and to believe that her beauty, brain, confidence, success means that ours is worth less. Why has society created and condoned this mess? You say she's too skinny. You say she's too fat. If you dare to scroll below the comment line, the remarks are filled with hypocrisy. So don't deny that these thoughts have entered your head and mine. I once saw your words filled with empowerment. You know your actions convey your prejudice. Who has taught you these wicked ways? The patriarchy confines us, yet some women adopt their poisonous ways, and then others give them gratifying praise. So the cycle continues and our behaviour plays, right into the hands of those who would keep us down. If we keep spouting this hatred towards one another, then you can be sure that men will see us as petty women and nothing more. But if we ignore the bad and the dumb, we'll notice how far women have come. It wasn't that long ago that women were perceived as weak or only needed at home, but now there are so many inspirational women who have shown that there is space for all of us to bloom and grow. Malala, Kamala and Zara Sultana, Margaret Thatcher, Cavendish, Atwood and more, these women all got their foot in the door, helped by Dickinson, Pankhurst, Angelou, Plath and Parks, who had for so long been left in the dark, which ignited a spark. And although it didn't happen overnight, they helped to set the world alight. Now on this day, we rise up as young women, ready to show the world that we are a true phenomena, ready to show the world that we are women. We are mothers.
We are sisters. We are daughters. We are freedom. We are speech. We are proud. And united we stand, ready to kick down the door and show the world that we are women. But we're also so much more.